Hi guys, in this video, we're going to discuss what weighted graphs are. Now, when we talk about weighted graphs or weighted graph, it is a graph in which each edge is associated with a value called a weight. So the value can represent any quantity. So it could be a distance, a time, or a traveling cost. So this is an example of a weighted graph. So it was, as what you can see, there is an edge and every edge has a corresponding weight. Now, let's take this example for you to understand how the weighted graphs work. So suppose a traveler would like to start in Chicago, visit the other five cities this airline flies to, and return to Chicago. Find three different roads that the traveler could follow and find the total distance flown for each road. So based on the problem, we will start in Chicago and then pass through the other five cities which this airline flies to and then return to Chicago. So this is an example of a Hamiltonian circuit because we will start in the same road which is Chicago or the same location in Chicago and then we will return to the same location which is again Chicago and we have to pass the five cities. So we have to pass through the five cities. So this other uh, road which we need is a Hamiltonian circuit. So this is the table with uh, the, presenting the five cities with their corresponding number of miles. This is by the way in miles guys. So uh, the numbers in this rows and columns are in miles okay so now this is our solution so let's sketch a weighted graph first so we will uh, put nine dots or nine vertices to represent the six cities so from chicago to new york we will connect that so it weights it weighs 713, so that is its weight, so 713 miles. So from Chicago to Washington, D.C., so that is 597. So try to look back at the table presented a while ago. So from Chicago to Philadelphia, that is 665. From Chicago to Atlanta, that is 585. Chicago to Dallas, 803. From New York to Atlanta, that is 748. From New York to Dallas, that is 1,374. 1, from Washington, D.C. to Atlanta, that is 544. And from Washington, D.C. to Dallas, that is 1,185. So from Atlanta to Philadelphia, that is 670. And from Philadelphia to Dallas, that is 1,299. So this is our weighted graph. So you just need to follow the table being given in order for you to construct the weighted graph or sketch the weighted graph accurately. Now, we will try to find a road, specifically a Hamiltonian circuit, because that is being asked in the given problem. So let's try this road. So if we start from Chicago and then we go to New York, to Dallas, and then to Philadelphia, and then to Atlanta, and then to Washington, D.C., and then we go back to Chicago. So this is a Hamiltonian circuit. So try to watch the video of the Hamiltonian circuit first in order for you what Hamiltonian circuits are. And in, in order for you to understand this uh, concept or this situation. So this is our first road. Now, let's find the total number of miles traveled by simply adding the corresponding weights in each edge so we have here in chicago to new york so we have here 713 so this one from new york to dallas that is 1374 so this one from dallas to philadelphia that is 1299 so this one from uh, philadelphia to atlanta that is 670 so this one from atlanta to washington dc that is 544 Okay, this one, so 544. From uh, Washington, D.C. to uh, Chicago, so that is 597, so this one. So we will just add them, the weights of the corresponding edges, to get the total number of miles traveled. So we get 5,197. So this means that 
we will be traveling 5,197 if we will follow the first road. Now, let's take our second road. So, we could have this one. So, if we start in Chicago, and then we go to Philadelphia, and then we go to Dallas, and then to Washington, D.C., and then to Atlanta, and then to New York, and then to Chicago. So, this is our second road, and the same thing. Uh, we did in the first row, so we will add the corresponding weights in every edge. So, in order for us to get the total number of miles traveled. So, in Chicago to Philadelphia, that is, Chicago to Philadelphia, that is 665. So, this one, Chicago to Philadelphia. So, from Philadelphia to Dallas, that is 1,299. So, from Dallas to Washington, D.C., that is 1,185. From Washington, D.C. to Atlanta, that is uh, 544. From Atlanta to New York, that is 748. And then we go back to Chicago, from New York to Chicago, so that is 713. So we will still add them so that we will be able to get the total number of miles traveled. So we get 5,154. So this is the total number of miles traveled in if we will follow our second route. Now for our third route, since we need to determine third routes in this graph, so we could have this one. So from Chicago, we will go to Washington DC and then to Dallas and then to New York and then to Atlanta and then to Philadelphia and then to Chicago. So similar procedures, so we will be adding the Num the corresponding weights in each edge to get the total number of miles being traveled and that is 5,239. So remember that in a Hamilton, so uh, uh, take note that we are considering a Hamiltonian road in this graph because that is what is being um, asked in the given problem. So we are asked to start in Chicago and then to return to the same destination, which is still Chicago, and we still have to pass through all these cities. So we need to start in Chicago, and in Chicago, and pass through all these uh, cities. So that is why we are considering a Hamiltonian circuit. So again, try to watch the Hamiltonian circuit first before watching this in order for you to understand the concept. So question, which road is the shortest. So definitely it is the second road, right? So let's go back. So in our first road, we have uh, 5,197 miles. So in our second road, we have 5,154. So it's quite shorter than our first road. So in our third road, we have uh, 5,000, we have 5,239. So it's quite uh, longer than the second road. So therefore, the road which is the shortest is the second road. So by sketching a weighted graph, we will be able to find a shorter road. We would be able to find the most or a more efficient road, especially when we have or we are planning to travel in different destinations. So that's it. That's how weighted graphs work. So I hope that you are able to understand its concept and you have understood how to sketch weighted graphs to represent traveling salesman problems. So that's all for now. God bless us all. Thank you and more power.